Seus malucos por camisa de futebol, Jersey Lovers, welcome back to Mr. Jersey Channel. In this video, I'll talk about the 2024-25 Chelsea third shirt made by Nike. I will talk about the dry fit stadium version of the shirt and I will compare with the match, the dry fit ADV player version of the shirt. If you are watching this channel for the first time, why have you been? My name is Marcelo and my passion is talking about football and football shirts. You can support the channel by doing the hat trick. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, smash the little bell. This way you're never gonna miss any videos here on Mr. Jersey channel. You can support even more by sending super thanks. Super thanks is a button here down there here somewhere on YouTube. And you can also buy the official product, the official shirt by using the affiliate link that will show up on the screen at certain point of the video. Maybe you can also find more links in the description, but I prefer you using the links on the screen. Official links either from Adidas, either from Fanatics, or official stores that sell these products. A small commission is gonna come to the channel that will help me to create more videos like this for you guys. I appreciate your support. We are almost 15,000 jersey lovers. Make sure you share the link of this video with everyone that loves football and football shirts. And let's start right away. Let's talk about the inspiration of this beautiful shirt. I will be holding only one because two is a little bit tricky. I will be holding the match version in this case. And at the end of the video, I will let you know which one I will keep. I'm not going to keep both. I will see which one I'm going to keep. I will let you know. But let's talk about the inspiration of this shirt. This shirt was inspired by a punk rock movement from decades ago, five decades ago from the 70s. So basically it's inspired by the youth cultural movement that happened during that time and you can see the translation of that by the design elements which to be honest with you i don't know what i'm seeing here but i really like the design elements i feel like create a nice contrast look really nice and if you look at the design elements since we are talking about the design elements it's a little bit different look from the back of this is the stadium one this is the match version you see it's a little bit different it's a little bit different. I have a feeling that this will vary by shirt, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure by what I'm holding here right now, the design elements are different from the match version and the dry fit version of the shirt. Look at the front. You can see the design elements, they don't align with each other. So I have a feeling each shirt has a different design element, but it's beautiful. I like it. The main color is black anthracite, Opti Yellow, which you can see over here, and Pink Prime. So those are the official colors. Let me talk about the logo here, the Sush. It's placed in a different way, not in the same position that usually is. It's upwards, look. And you have double Sush. Nike is doing that to celebrate the women's football. It's a combination of men's and women's, and that's why they have two logos, two Sush logos over here, and it's upwards to celebrate the rise of the women's football. It's a way that Nike is sealing the commitment of supporting the women's football, which is super nice. All the third shirts have the same type of logo upwards. Let's talk about the construction of the shirt. The construction is very similar to the Liverpool one. Look, same construction and the same thing for the stadium one. So that's why I'm not gonna show the stadium one right now because the construction is the same thing. You can see, actually, the only difference is the color. The color you see is different, right? The color is the same as the French one, look. When you see this is normal, the French one, then this is a little bit thinner in this part over here. The same strategy goes for the Chelsea one. While the French one does not have this line. Actually, there is this line as well, but you can barely see there is a line over here, which is the same construction that we have here, which you can see a little bit more clear by this stitching over here, look. I don't know, to be honest with you guys, if I like this part over here, this pink part over here, you know, which in the Liverpool video, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but I'm still not 100% sure if I like this, but I don't know, it's matching with the design and it's creating a balance, but still maybe it was not necessary. Maybe this could be black in my opinion, but this is nice too. Let's go over some other details of the shirt. I'm holding here the size large of the shirt, so make sure you watch the video all the way because I will try this one here, which is the match, the dry fit ADV, and I will try the dry fit, the stadium version. I'm gonna tell you 
which you want to like the most and which one I'm going to keep. In this one here, you can see the match version, the dry fit ADV. The lion, which is really nice, is almost like a 3D lion. Look. I don't know if you guys can see really well. You guys will see better in a video in a moment. Stop what you're doing right now if you haven't done that yet and do the hat trick. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and smash the little bell. This way you'll be supporting the channel. And make sure you buy the shirt in the link that will be on the screen pretty soon. Look at this. Uh, you can see that's heat sealed. And you can see the double sush upwards is heat sealed as well. One thing that's different from the stadium version is the Premier League logo, which is heat sealed on the right sleeve. Look, this is the stadium version and you don't see any patch on the sleeve. Look, this is one difference when you buy on Nike.com. I'm not sure about the other websites. I'm not sure about the ones you're going to be seeing here on the screen, but on Nike.com you find their premier logo, which is a lion, which is interesting because lion here, lion here. Anyway, the cuff is very similar as well with the stadium version and the material is the same as well. Let me see here. Yeah, the material is the same. It's all the same on the sleeves, on the cuffs, I would say. And it's pink prime and opt yellow. And you can see this part here is another piece of fabric or part of the construction. And part of this chassis template that Nike does. And you see the pink prime and opti yellow here as well, forming this element over here, which what connects the front part of the shirt with the back is this part over here. Look, it's very, material is different. The material of the dry fit ADV, the technology is super nice. I'm looking forward to try to see how it's gonna be this when I wear. And inside you see these blues, which is yellow and pink. Really nice, size large, as you guys can tell. This is the dry fit ADV. Oh, this one is made in Georgia, really nice. What else we have? We have the dry fit ADV branding on the back, which is really interesting, right? Because there were a few times that Nike had this on the front, but meanwhile they used this on the back. And I really like this logo. And you see the authenticity label over here, which is black and gold. Let me show you now a little bit of the stadium to see if we have some other differences. As you can tell, of course, the badge is stitched on, which if you ask me, I prefer stitched on. I know it annoys when you play, you know, for the players, it makes the shirt a little bit heavier, but I really like it so well done, the lion. And you can see the same 3D aspect of the badge. And you can see the sush, the double sush is stitched on. I also like that. And you don't see the patch as I showed you before. The rest is all the same. We have the authenticity label over here, which in this case is silver and black. And what else? We also have inside the blues one and we have the dry fit, not the dry fit ADV size large. So now make sure you watch details of the shirt a little bit closer. And at the end of the video, I will try the shirt. I will talk about the fit and I'm going to tell you which one I'm going to keep. Watch the video all the way and don't forget to do the hat trick.
Sesma, look for the camisa de futebol. Jesse Lovers, now is the time to compare the stadium against the match version. Dry fit against the dry fit ADV. I'm starting with the 2024-25 Chelsea third kit. This is the stadium, the dry fit version. I really like the fit. It's really nice. I'm size large. This is size large. And look, you guys can totally tell that the fit is really great. I really like the material, very comfortable, really good material. And I really like the design. I mean, the design is going to be the same almost because it's only changed a few elements that you can barely tell by looking at the shirt. But it is nice, really nice. I feel like Nike did not create a lot of great shirts this season. Adidas is killing it. It's doing way better in my opinion. But this one here is nice. Look at this. I really like the details on the sleeves, especially this part here is something that I really like that Nike brought as you know, a chassis uh, feature, I would say. Really nice colors. Look at the front, look at the back. I feel like it deserves a name set. I really like this one here. I'm not gonna do any transition in this one. Now you guys will see the other one right now. Boom, this is the other one. Look at this. I like this one too. Look at the front, look at the back. The material is great, this is size large of the dry fit ADV, the player version, the match version of the shirt. The fit is very similar to the one in my opinion. I'm size large, this is size large, and I feel great. I don't feel like this is like a slim fit, you know what I mean? That you feel like, oh, this is... No, I don't feel... I feel like it's my size and it's really comfortable, I really like it. The material is premium, I can tell the material is a little bit better because I feel like Nike and Adidas are doing a great job of having great, they call replica, but you know, it's not fake or anything. That's how the brands call, but they stay new version, they are already version for the idea that they do great materials. And I feel like the difference is not that intense for me. In this case, I don't know, it's different. Of course, this one is better. There's the technology, you know, the dry fit ADV, but I really like the stitch it on swoosh and also the badge, especially the badge. I don't know which one I'm gonna keep. I feel like, because I don't see a lot of, you know, features that would make me go for a more expensive shirt. This is, how much is this? 170 and this is 90, this is 95. So in this case, because I really like the material and everything's the same, like very similar, of course, the material. You guys know what I'm talking about. I feel like in this case, I'm gonna keep the steady one. I will return this one here and then I can save money to buy other shirts but if i did not need to save money i would totally get the player version the dry fit adv because the material is better but the other one is not bad what do you think let me know in the comments which one you guys like it the most the home one or the third one the away one is also great i'm not sure if my budget will allow me to get the away one but i'm thinking about it if i don't buy now i may buy on sale if it gets on sale, but make sure you guys help the channel by buying the shirt using the link. And now make sure you watch this video over here. Mr. Josie out.